Give it all to David Arroyo. Come on up, David. Let's hear from Mark again. Come on. I mean, that was an awesome story. Oh, God. So I never had a great New Year's Eve. In fact, all my New Year's Eve kind of pretty much sucked, mostly because I kind of passed out in my apartment eating Doritos and trolling off and keeping the profiles. Uh, but a couple years ago, I decided I was going to have a good New Year's Eve. So I called my friend Leandra, and she invites me to this party from this guy in the Upper West Side who's just opened up his uh, apartment uh, for everybody. So we head over there, and I get into my head that the best way to have a great New Year's Eve is to have a New Year's Eve kiss. And if I make it my mission to get a New Year's Eve kiss that night. And so the, immediately once we get into that party, I'm just like approaching girls like crazy, trying to like, <laughs> trying to like use the limited amount of game that I have, which is not a lot, to be honest with you. And uh, I wind up talking to this girl named Bo, and we really kind of hit it off. Like, you know, we had like a similar sense of humor, and we are just talking, and having a good time. And I decided I'm gonna go get a drink, so um, I leave Leander talking to her, and I go get my drink, and when I come back, some dude's like talking to her. And I'm like, what the, what the hell, you know? So I go up to the guy, I'm like, hey, what's up? And the guy just looks at me, just like, just takes off. And I'm starting to talk to Bo, and I suddenly I, get, I feel a punch to the back of my head. And I look back, <laughs> And it's Leandra, and she's like going like, you ruined it for her! And she's like all drunk and stuff. And she's, I'm like, what? She's like, you ruined it for her. She liked them, and you ruined it for her. And she like grabs his ha her hand and drags her across the room to the guy and just puts her hand in his hands and says, she likes you! And just like comes back to me. And I'm like, what the fuck was that about, you know? And he's and she's like she liked you know she liked she liked him and you ruined it for her I can't believe you and I'm like going like what are you what are you talking about she's like she's my friend and I go motherfucker you're my friend okay I've known you for four years you've known her for four minutes what the fuck you know and I just take I just like get all flustered and just like take off and now I'm screwed because now it's like eleven o'clock and I have one hour to get to get a New Year's Eve kiss. So I start going, I just start going, approaching girls getting rejected, approaching girls getting rejected, and girls getting rejected. Finally, I wound up sitting on the couch talking to this girl, and she's perfect. She's, she's awesome. She's, she's cute. She's funny. She has low standards. Um, <laughs> and she's drunk. And, uh, and we, start, we start talking. We start kind of hitting it off, and it seems to be going really well, when suddenly I feel this pressure on the back of my back, and, and I turn around, and it's Leandra making out with some random dude on top of me at this point. And I'm going like, dude, what the fuck, man? Come on, you know? And, like at this, at, and he has a beer in his hand, and suddenly his beer slips out of his hand and just pours all over my shirt. And I'm just like, I'm just like going, are you serious right now? What the fuck, you know? And I turn around, the girl's gone. And I'm just defeated. I'm going like, this is, this is horrible. And suddenly I hear the dreaded words, Five, four, three, two, one, and suddenly out of the ether, a girl comes out of nowhere, grabs me, and kisses me. And I was like, success, I have my New Year's Eve kiss. And it sucked. <laughs> because it was like, imagine if you take an ashtray and pour it into a blender with cheap beer and spit. That's pretty much what it tasted like. <laughs> And then after she kisses me, she burps in my face. <laughs> and as the gentleman that I am, of course, I, with high standards, I take out my phone to get her number. <laughs> and she takes my phone puts, and puts it back in my pocket and says, no. <laughs> and just walks away and I'm like, you, f uh, you asshole. And so I feel, I, you know, fast forward to the end of the night, I'm in a diner with Leandra, soaping her up and just, Feelings just kind of defeated about the whole thing. And suddenly I look across the room and I see the girl. And she's looking at me and I can see her like talking to her friends. And she's giving me like this look of like, oh my God, he's stalking me. Kind of like, <laughs> look. And I, I'm, I'm just so livid right now. And as we're leaving, we, you know, I just turn around and just say, no, I'm not gonna let this night end like this. And I go up to her and I just go, I don't like you. <laughs> and she's like, what? And I'm like, I'm not stalking you, okay? I'm not stalking you. And I'm just like screaming at her like, I'm not stalking you. I don't like you. You're the one who kissed me and blah, blah. And she looks at me and she just goes, okay. And I realize this woman has no idea who the fuck I am. 
And in that moment, guys, I realized that some windmills shouldn't be chased after and some dreams should just kind of better left in your head. Thanks.